All right, started the timer and here is the question. Right, if you have read and understood, can you begin your history taking station? Hello, um, hello, sir. I am Dr. Joshua, one of the exam candidates. May I confirm your name and date of birth and age, please? Yes, I'm HK, 56 years old. 56, all right. So nice to meet you, uh, Mr. HK. So today um, I've been asked to ask you uh, some questions that will help you to uh, help you with your condition. Is that okay with you? Yes, please carry on. All right. So what brought you in today? How may I help you? Oh, doctor, I'm having this pain over my throat and there's a swelling over my throat and causing me difficulty in swallowing of food every time I go to eat something. And it's giving me painful. Please help me out. Okay, so I do understand this might be very, very distressing for you. And um, I'm really yes. sorry this happened to you, but I'm here to help you. All right, so can okay. I ask when did you first notice this um, swelling and pain? Please. Please. Uh, sorry, uh, when did you first notice this? Pain sorry, and, uh, swelling in your throat? When did you sorry? first, um, okay. when did it start? It's yeah. Okay, it's around two months back. Okay. And then is it always there or does it come and go? No, it's, uh, it's, uh, some, it's there, but it, it gets worse when I uh, go to eat something more. Than okay. Some, something like you to swallow. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there anything that makes the uh, swelling more or will make the pain worse? Nothing much. I didn't notice mm -hmm. anything that's causing it reducing. Mm -hmm. is there so, always... is there anything that will? Okay, go on. Is there anything that will make it uh, smaller or will improve the pain? Yeah, during swelling it get worse. Okay, with swelling it get worse. Okay, All right. And um, did you take any medication for that? No, this is the first time I'm seeing the problem. Okay. Yeah, so um, that's really good that you came in here so that we can figure out what's wrong. All right, so let me ask you um, further questions. So do you, do you notice any changes in your weight recently? Yeah, yeah, doc, thank you for asking. I have lost around mm -hmm. two kgs during this period. Okay. But, um, for how long did you... Uh, notice that weight loss. Yeah, around these two months, with it starts with mm -hmm. my, I can't take food properly due to the pain, and I think that's okay. causing my weight loss. Mm -hmm. How's how's your appetite like? Yeah, my appetite is good, but I can't okay. take food. Yeah. All right, so you can't take food because it's difficult to swallow, or that's right. Yeah. Okay, so that must be really, really uh, challenging for you. Um, anyway, um, did you notice any uh, um, difficulty breathing? No, doctor. Okay, you notice any uh, chest pain? No. Okay. Any joint pains? Sorry? Any, any pain? pain no, in no. your joints? Yeah? No, no. Okay, any, uh, um, any weakness? 
yeah i feel a little lethargic uh okay. for this for this duration okay did you did you uh, were able to notice or feel any lumps and bumps elsewhere in your body so you notice what uh, any lumps or bumps in your body i feel a swelling over my throat okay so just the throat all right so um yeah. now i'm going to ask you and more of, uh, mm -hmm. go on it it seems to be increasing gradually in size mm -hmm. okay um do, do you have any fever especially at yeah. night yeah i have fever and it comes and goes away okay all right now i um so i'm going to ask more of a personal questions all right so have you been um uh, hospitalized before no doctor okay have you had any surgery yeah i had surgery for my appendix the appendicectomy for okay. for it okay any allergy from food or medications no, uh, the doctor said I'm allergic to penicillin. Okay, so I'll take note of that. Um, do you have any uh, history of blood transfusion? No, doctor. All right. So is there any uh, problem uh, or medical conditions that I should be aware of? Yeah, I'm Like diabetic. hypertension? Mm -hmm. Yes, diabetic I'm diabetic. For how long? Yeah, for five years. All right. Are you taking any medications with that? Yes, yes. All right. What? Okay, do you remember the name of the drug or the medication? Yes, I'm taking metformin 500. So All right. Twice daily. So are you... Okay. So you're taking it regularly? Yes. Okay. So that's good. All right. So now, um, is there any uh, uh, conditions that runs in the family? Okay. My parents are diabetic. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so thank you, sir, for um, giving me all the information. So I'll just present my case to the uh, consultant. If that's okay. Thank you very much for your time, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna summarize. Uh, I'm gonna present my case. Uh, I have a 56-year-old. Today I uh, had um, took a history from a 56-year-old gentleman who presented with uh, tonsillar swelling and pain in the right. Um, side for two months with associated two kilogram weight loss and dysphagia and painful swallowing. There's also um, fever, on and off fever, and the um, swelling increases in um, size and the pain in severity during swallowing. And also there's generalized body malaise and uh, the patient is diabetic and is compliant with um, metformin. So what are your um, differential diagnoses for this patient? Um, my differentials for this case would be first um, neoplastic uh, condition or tonsillar um, malignancy um, because of the progression of the uh, uh, swelling and also the associated weight loss and general body uh, malaise. Yes, what else are you going to consider? Um, infective causes like um, uh, tonsillar abscess or uh, tonsillar or tonsillitis or yes. even um, lymphoma, um, tuberculosis, tu and lymphoma fever. Tuberculosis, yes. How would you manage? Yes. How how do you plan to manage this patient? Uh, for the uh, first investigation, so I would request for the um, full blood count, urea electrolytes, and also. Um, I would do uh, a biopsy. Yes. Tonsillectomy yes. for biopsy, and we can do um, flow cytometry. And, and what we should can do be CT the scan treatment? as well. Yes. Um, so if it's a malignancy, then we have to uh, stage the uh, disease. Yes. Uh, we can do um, uh, imaging of the uh, like MRI or CT scan of the neck ultrasound of the liver, yes. or chest CT scan as well, and definitely I refer it with the multidisciplinary team. Um, and if it's surgical, then we do surgery. And yes. we can also consider radiotherapy. Good. Okay. Give you 
I ran out of time now. <laughs> yeah, I know. And uh, I mean, I should have asked about the smoking history. Yeah. Social history. Uh, Social history. Dr. Joshua, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. Thank HK, you. as well. Yeah. Just waiting for one second. That, that's, that's six minutes, right. ma'am, right? Uh, yes, yeah. I. you finished at six, but then, uh, yes, mm -hmm. in some time, a few seconds, you wasted in um, saying that, okay, I'll present it to my consultant. Oh, you okay. uh, don't do that. Okay, once time bell goes, say thank you, and then move on to okay. cons uh, examiner. <laughs> Just say thank you. Okay, thank you for your time or thank you or whatever your way of uh, ending conversation is. Just thank you for your time and then turn thank to you. the examiner okay. and then, yeah, or just say thank you. Save as much time as you can. And then, uh, yes, yeah. you uh, forgot to complete the history. So you should have begun, okay, today I've taken the, taken the history from a oh, yeah, yeah. years old That's... man. And if time would have allowed, I would have uh, completed it with whatever was left then you can yes. just quickly, quickly just say it. And then when I ask you about the differential diagnosis, you don't give me reasons. Okay, just tell me one, two, three, four. First you said malignancy. So th the most common malignancy of tonsillar region is uh, squamous cell carcinoma. So you say, okay, malignancy of the tonsils. If you have said that, all right. Then second, take, take second, okay, lymphoma or uh, you said abscess, all right, and glandular fever or tuberculosis, whatever, like just one, two, three, four, quickly uh, name at least three to four differential diagnoses you give me. The first one should be the most sensible and most thoughtful. If your examiner would want, he would ask, he or she would ask you why you have chosen malignancy as your first choice. Then you can explain, okay? Yes, uh, the rest examination, uh, the investigation and uh, management, you told me absolutely correct. So there was nothing wrong in that. But in these two things, I would want you to just say it quickly. So, so ma'am, so ma once I'm asked about the differentials, I'll just go, let's say, uh, okay, first I will consider squamous cell or yes. malignancy because- squamous cell carcinoma, that, yes. Okay. Okay, so I'll definitely give reason right away. And no, no, no reason. Next... Oh. You will not give reason. Oh, no reason. No reason. Oh, okay. At that moment, no reasons. He or she has okay. only asked you for the differential diagnosis. Just give your most likely differential diagnosis as number one, which you can defend afterwards as well. And then number two should be lymphoma or tuberculosis or glandular fever or just, but say it quickly, like one, two, three, four. Just quickly, squamous cell carcinoma, lymphoma, tuberculosis, glandular fever, just like this, quickly. And if examiner wants, he or she will ask you why you have chosen squamous cell carcinoma or malignancy of uh, tonsil as number one. Then you explain because of the weight loss, because of uh, difficulty of solving, because of all, everything, right? Then you say it. Yes, ma'am. Good. I, I think, ma'am, I took... So much time no. at the beginning, or uh, maybe my pacing is a bit practice. slow. <laughs> yes, no, you're okay. Everything is fine. It's just that uh, you need little practice, and you still have time. You still have two weeks. If you'll practice, you can uh, achieve the goal definitely because you have the skills. Okay, ma'am. You have the knowledge. It's I, just yeah. I think, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to improve with practice because, to be honest, and on the list of the. Uh, um cases that dr singh uh yes. posted this is the one that i uh, wasn't able to <laughs> go, go through. through yes but you should <laughs> at least try your best from your yes, work at least commit three four hours daily with dr prabhajit singh he's very active and i'm really liking it that's why i'm appreciating him really well he's taking you to another extra level and no one does that, you know. Uh, uh, people charge so much money, you know. No one does that. He's doing it, so appreciate it. Stick to him. Glue yourself with him, and then take full yes, advantage of it, because you people are. See, look, Doctor Abhishek has written, given you yes, differentials in a very nice manner. Thank so you, it's just and thanks that, for the feedback. <laughs> yeah, feedback is good. You know, it will help you. And then at least try to be regular. Sometimes I cannot even 
waiting and here is the yeah. timer and here is your question. Okay, if you have read and understood, can you begin your history taking now? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my name is uh, Dr. Prabhjit Singh. I'm one of the surgical doctors over here. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, Dr. Prabhjit. May I, may I know your name and age, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Mr. Jonathan. I'm 56 years old doctor. Okay, so uh, could you tell me uh, how can I help you today? Yeah, doctor, I actually have come here today. Uh, something unusual with my water work. I have noted there is it was kind of reddish. Uh, it's for last five weeks, doctor, and there is some pain. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That must be problematic to you. So I would like to okay. know uh, further, further more about further more about it. So could you tell yeah, me sure. uh, when did you first know? Okay, so when did you first notice this problem? Uh, uh, I think as far as I can remember, it started five weeks back, doctor, and it, it's just increasing. The color is getting darker and darker. Okay, so uh, have you uh, found that over the time this has increased, uh, the amount of blood has increased or uh, yeah. this pain has increased over the time? Both, both uh, uh, yeah, blood doctor, and pain I, has increased? Uh, yeah, pain is just uh, on the left side in this area. And yeah, over time it's increasing, doctor. I'm very much worried about it. I'm so sorry. It will uh, help you in best possible way. Uh, I would like yeah, to sure. uh, ask further, further questions on that. So uh, is there anything which uh, uh, has improved the, uh, uh, the problem or maybe worsens the problem? Which one, doctor? Uh, the blood in my the water or something, the pain? So first, first I'm asking about the blood. Okay, okay. No, doctor, I, I, I can see it's continuous. It's continuous over there and no medication I have taken for that and nothing improves that. Okay, so is the uh, blood comes in clot or is this just the reddish color of the urine? It's, it's just reddish color, I haven't seen it clot. Okay, fine. So I would like to ask you more about your pain. So uh, is yeah, the pain sure. has been... So is the pain has been there right from the beginning of this problem or did it come later on? No, no, doctor, I am just suffering from the pain. I'm just noticing the pain for two days. That's why I have come here, come to you abruptly, yeah. So do the pain moves around or is it at the same place? Yeah, I think it's in this area on the left side of my tummy and it just go down, doctor, towards, uh, towards my genitalia, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry you're in pain. Uh, could you tell me regarding the pain uh, a little bit more? Is there anything which yeah, sure. improves the pain or maybe worsen yes. it? Yeah, sometimes I took some OTC paracetamol and I feel that the pain is gone away, then again it comes. And uh, what about uh, uh, the weight? Have you lost any weight over the time you're having this yeah problem? i have noticed doctor there is some uh, i have uh, lost around six pounds over the last two months okay and what about your feeding habits uh, are you eating well uh, no i don't find it interesting anymore doctor i'm also worried about that so any pain uh, apart from the place you said in your tummy or anywhere else no i didn't feel it's only in that area are you having any fever or any illness before uh, no, doctor. Okay. So, uh, is there any injury to your private parts uh, for the uh, time you're having this problem? No, no, doctor. No. So, any any bleeding from any other part of the body you're having? Uh, I didn't notice. 
Okay. Do you feel urge to pass the urine? Uh, it's not like that. My water is work is okay. It just red, doctor. So has the frequency of the uh, passage of urine has increased recently? Uh, no, doctor. I didn't notice that. Okay, fine. So uh, anything else related to this you want to explain to me? Uh, no, I don't remember, doctor. If that's all the thing I have to complain about. All right. Okay, so yeah. any, uh, yeah, uh, did you have any, uh, uh, do, you, do you have to wake up multiple times at night for urination? No, doctor, it's perfectly all right. So is your urine stream has weakened up over the time or is it the same, the normal one? Yeah, uh, it's the same. The force is same. Do you do, you, do the urine dribbles at the, during the end of the uh, passage of the urine? No, it's it's good. It's good in that regard. Yeah. Okay. Any back pain? Uh, no. Sometimes whenever I just sit for a long time, it happens. It's nothing like that. Serious like okay. that. Okay. Right. Any any problem in the past? Any medical problem you're having? Uh, uh, doctor, I just have uh, my increased blood pressure and I take tablet uh, Amdocal at the night. I don't remember the exact dose. Oh, that's all right. So is it controlled now? Yeah, it's controlled, doctor. That's right. Any, any yeah. surgery Any surgery you no, had in the past? No, no, doctor. Anything related to this in your family, maybe with your parents or siblings? Uh, my father had actually something called... Uh, prostate cancer and he died at the age of 72 for that. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must be hard on you. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, Furthermore, do you, okay. So uh, do you have any allergy to any medicine? No, doctor. I don't have. Do you mind if I ask you a few personal questions? No, sure, sure. Go ahead. So uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a factory worker. I actually work with some dyes at my factory. Yeah, doctor. Right. Thank you so much for the uh, answers okay. you gave. They'll they'll helpful. Because today okay, I doctor. took history of this. Today yes. I took history of this 56 year old male who had complaints of uh, painless blood in the urine with the little pain in the groin. Uh, yes. And the patient is a factory worker in the dye industry, and uh, yes. the uh, the. Uh, the urine is uh, continuous, uh, having continuously having blood, and uh, uh, there is no, uh, there is, uh, uh, it is not associated with the uh, frequency. It's not associated with any uh, nocturia, and there is no change in stream of the urine. There is no history of trauma. So my main diagnosis for, uh, and of course this is associated with constitutional symptoms of uh, weight loss as well as. Yes. Uh, uh, the history of uh, uh, loss of appetite. So my main diagnosis over here for this condition is CA bladder. And yes. my differentials are benign prostatic uh, hyperplasia, UTI, or uh, renal stones, uh, yes. trauma, and bleeding yes. cadences, as well as yes. prostate cancer. So how would you plan to manage this patient? So first, I would like to uh, complete my uh, examination. I would like to go for abdominal examination and a digital rectal examination. As uh, in investigation, I would like to go for a routine investigation of CBC. Uh, I would like to go for ultrasound scan and uh, uh, cystoscopy. And uh, also I want to uh, uh, stage the cancer with CT scan. And uh, after that, I would like to treat the patient if uh, patient diagnosed with the bladder cancer with the either TURBT, just transurethral resection of the bladder tumor or a cystectomy. Right. radical system mm -hmm. what treatment uh, options can you offer to your patient yeah if 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 it comes out to be ca bladder so of course the uh, first uh, uh, as i said that cystoscopy and uh, uh, staging of the disease and then transurethral uh, resection of the malignancy and uh, radical cystectomy if it's high grade very good within time now and one thing you missed before, when you were about to present your case, as soon as you started, you should have at least at the end mentioned if time thank would have patient. allowed. No, you thank the patient. If time would have allowed, I would okay. have completed right. my, yeah. the remaining part of the history because you have not completed the history. See? So this yeah. is what I yes. told them. Yes. Yes. You can. So go better down. than yesterday. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Yesterday it was two minutes it and was really good, yeah. 40 seconds extra you took. And today it was within time, So, but you didn't get to finish. Since you didn't get to finish, 
and you started presenting very nicely, then you should have covered it uh, there because mentioning is as good as doing. Okay. So if you yes. couldn't, you always couldn't tell complete, that. Yes, yes. and you have to remember this because time went off and you couldn't complete your history. So once you're presenting and then you say, okay, uh, if time would have allowed me, I would have completed the family history and then family history maybe you asked. Family history you asked, okay, social history was left. Uh, how patient smokes. Yes, just so uh, that, I took yes. the history of occupation. Occupation you did, but the remaining part of the social history was left. So you could have completely remaining quickly said, of, yes. Yeah. yeah. So very good. Anyone else, Dr. Avishik, would you want to give feedback? Yours? Oh, no, actually, ma'am, I was just uh, thinking like a few days back whenever we are just practicing about the whenever I had the intention, I would appear. So we discussed these things about the finishing of all the questions, because most of the stations of history taking, uh, we cannot finish money. According to our history, we couldn't manage. We, we could barely finish within time. So the yes. fact is, uh, we just started in that way that uh, after seeing the scenario, what should be the provisional one? So regarding okay. the provisional one, you ask every question. Okay. So after that, you just can ask like, if there is four questions regarding one differential, you can ask two, something like that. But the yeah. fact is, ma'am, there is points for eyes. There is points for asking the patient he wants oh, to add I anything see. or not. Yes. There is, uh, uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah ma'am. And there is also just asking, uh, offering some help to the patient that also can, uh, comprises marks. So if we just can just uh, compress all the questions and just finish within time, so there is more chance of passing. passing. Uh, because, sorry, there is more chance of getting marks, ma'am. I am just saying that because yeah. if we just ask every question and just misses this type of uh, uh, important um, questions at the end, it like it will be more harmful for us. So that's why I'm, I can just suggest, what is your, yeah, pro provisional diagnosis, ask all the relevant one regarding the provisional and regarding the others, you can just skip. It's yes. not mandatory always to ask about everything because more marks are there, like about the wiper at Every, the beginning, yes. about washing hands at the, yeah, everything, more marks everything. are there. Yes. Yeah, well, so that's uh, my suggestion. In this one, history, well. history of hematuria, yeah. there were two things that he had to cover and very nicely he covered both. There was one history of clots. Yeah. He had yeah. to rule that out. And then history of pain. Yeah. Maybe when he uh, was asking about pain, yeah. he could have added, how would you grade your pain from one or zero being um, nominal? Yeah, and as you have said, the, yeah, severity yeah, so of the pain. Severity of the pain, just to rule out. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was, I was thinking to do that. It was in my mind. But yes. uh, Dr. Avishek then mentioned that it's very dull. <laughs> yeah. It's not that much. It's just you. So I thought maybe I should uh, hurry up with other yeah, things yeah. in order yeah. to finish. No, that was, was really in my mind. But, but truly, it's needed. Uh, the pain is pain. pain. And, uh, in yes. the same earlier, it was, uh, I just got a little confused in the stem. It was written painless hematuria. And yes. uh, Dr. Avishek actually uh, acted uh, very well. That it's not the pain part which is the main. It is yeah. it's the other part. Yeah. So he was leading me towards yeah. that. So it was a very uh, a good acting by Dr. Yes. Ashik. I, I think he should go <laughs> no. into Bollywood. Yeah. He, 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 <laughs> I, I know. Know. Thank you. Thank oh, you so wow. much. <laughs> it's, it's so good with Dr. Avishik. He's, uh, uh, I know he's, he's good. Helpful. That's why I requested him to help you. <laughs> Ma'am, we have to yeah. keep this noted. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. How are you? We have uh, to keep this noted. Doctor. <laughs> Okay, you can just one or two regarding that. You you can definitely save time and you can uh, can reach the bottom of this six minutes definitely. Okay. Definitely with practice. <laughs> yeah. So you must practice. practice doing this again. That's why it was like yeah. lucky you you had Dr. Vishek to practice with, but then you took history no, of clots yeah. as well and you took history of pain yeah. as well but then maybe with the clots you can uh, could have asked a little more like onset and timing if all through the, throughout the uh, passing what work he's passing clots or uh, in the red color or when the red color begins in the beginning or at the end like this if um, on the tissue he has any uh, red drops or anything at the end or something mm -hmm. so yeah with, with yeah, practice like, definitely you can 
at the yeah. uh, end actually it indicates some kind of prostatic pathology yes. and there is also a term called painless terminal hematuria which occurs due to cystoma hematuria infection so that's why you can just ask these three like at the beginning yeah. or beginning throw or at the last or at yeah. the end yeah so like if you can yeah. add just one or two questions like this for every I want to ask would... one question yes please yeah so there i want to ask this uh, that in communication stations we say that we have to use all the layman terms we don't have to use the technical terms but in history taking could we use uh, a few terms uh, which are no. medical for example we use urine uh, no. but dr avishek was uh, mentioning like water works should we do it was, like that we can mention the right urine. work you uh, okay you i was urine. just being layman yes uh, so with yeah. patient you have to use that language water works Uh, and when you are in communication skills urine when you are doing uh, the call i mean yeah i know but still you can ask about urine dr prabhujit no problem no problem that's why no, i didn't comment on asked, that guess, urine you can use but nothing I'm more really, actually particularly okay particularly i'm asking this question because i saw a few videos uh, on online i mean they are yes. from the uh, past test also in yes. that they have shown that are you having palpitations so but this is a technical term which no technical term yes i mean no no palpitation you should not ask yeah come yeah, yeah. most of the okay. so this is not uh, ask. Uh, yeah um, try to use yeah yes doctor you, you, sh- you should try to yeah yeah as but much you as can't possible. use all the talk by lima because you you didn't have this vocabulary you, even the english people Yes. Is some time is medical term yes and explain what what meaning and whenever dr yeah. prabhjit you uh, can find like uh, you are asking something to a patient and you can understand that patient cannot understand this so you can just explain this to the patient uh, like a uh, free uh, simultaneously so do uh, are we are of this term something like that during history taking or any communication that will give you a good impression i guess like yes. if you yeah, think that yeah, patient will not understand this yeah i got it you are absolutely uh, right in this but that uh, yeah. but i think that will just uh, waste a little bit more time which we could of save course. in computer it will just waste that's time that's why i was yeah, asking yeah. yeah doctor um, ulfat has a question yes please or comment Uh, ma'am uh, i was just about to say what a wish doctor vishik has said that you know like how uh, doctor hello yes yes yeah mm-hmm. Dr. Pravjit has said that you know palpitation is not a you know a, a, it's a jargon. So are, we are not going to use a jargon. The thing is that you can say, you, can you feel palpitations? Palpitations is not exactly a complete medical term because a few layman people, it's just like urine, it's just like stool because these are terms which are medicals, but a lot of the general public know about it. So you can use this, but still if you're uh, confused whether you know to use them or not, you could, you'll just explain them in you know, a few words. Just like, yeah. okay, can you hear your heart beats in your ears? like that yeah just like this so do they the duct marsh actually sorry uh actually the thing is uh when you uh history taking and everything these are all uh the what i have heard from previous examiner examinees that this whole uh, history taking communication everything is actually they won't see how uh, how you are taking the history or uh, are you taking the proper history or not they will see how you're communicating to the patient like how, where are uh, how is your voice which uh, are you being sympathetic are you being empathetic at the right moment or not they're going to see all all of these okay so uh, mostly uh, the focus is on these parts then they will go on to seeing your knowledge and everything because they'll ultimately judge you on the knowledge they'll ask you after 3 minutes you know what is your diagnosis what is all this so that is the whole thing yes i mean this right. is what i have seen from my previous uh, uh, friends who have given the exam yes the medical right. part they will ask you in the 3 minutes okay in during the history taking they will see your uh, your command on the language your command on how you are speaking to your patient that is yeah true thank you so much you're thank welcome you. yes okay yes okay started the timer and here is the question
another similar question would be good doing it together Right. If you have read and understood the question, can you begin your history taking station? Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, hello. Hello. I am uh, Dr. Varki, one of the exam candidates. Um, may I know your name and age, please? I'm Thomas. I'm 77 years old. Hi, Thomas. Uh, nice to meet you. Right. Um, hi. Uh, hi. Um, what do you today here? How may I help you? Uh, doctor, I'm having this problem. So you see, I've been having this problem. I have to go too many times to the washroom for my waterworks. And uh, after that, I've all after I'm done, I come back and I feel like I, you know, I again have to go back. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, shall I ask a few questions regarding that? All right. Yeah. How long have you been having this problem? Uh, I've been having this for some time now, about six months or so. Uh -huh. So is it uh, increasing uh, day by day or is just uh, just the way it started? So initially it was fine. It was just, uh, it was uh, like what? Uh, four or five times. Nowadays, I even have to go seven times a day and it's been increasing a lot. The uh -huh. frequency is just increasing. Uh, do you have uh, increased episodes in the night as well? Yes, yes. I actually have, I, I have to sometimes wake up at night to, you know, go to the washroom. Oh, that uh, would be troublesome for you. I understand that. I'm sorry for that. It is, it so, is, doctor. Uh, it's all right. Okay. So, um, uh, just a few more questions regarding that. Uh, do you have uh, difficulty to initiate passing the urine compared to your previous times? Yes, actually. I have to you know, put a pressure and then it starts. And when uh -huh. it is starting, it's so weak and, you know, not, I, I don't mm -hmm. find it, you know, easy to avoid. So you are talking, uh, saying that your, the stream of uh, your, uh, your passage, uh, passing of urine has decreased. Compared to your previous yes, time. doctor. Uh huh. Uh, do exactly, you feel doctor. completely empty after that, or is there a uh, doubling of urine after you come back from the room? Mm, not dribbling, your... but I yeah. have to go back again. I always feel like I have not emptied it completely, oh, so I have this any... sense that I have to go back again. Uh huh. So, uh, have you uh, got any pain associated with this? Mm, not really. I did not notice any pain. Uh, is there any change in color of the urine? Like, have you noticed any blood in your urine? No, I have not really noticed any blood. Uh -huh. uh, have you noticed any uh, weight loss recently? No, doctor. No, okay. So, how's your appetite? Mm, it's all right. Not that great. It's okay. Okay, so uh, did you get any uh, medical help for this uh, problem? Like, uh, have you ever, uh, any time, have you got some tube inserted through your um, private area? Uh, no, I can't recall, doctor, anything like that. Uh, can I ask you a personal question? Yes, sure, go ahead. Uh, do you, uh, have you ever uh, seen uh, any blood stains in your semen? No, doctor. Okay, that's good. So, uh, uh, do you have any other medical conditions about which I should uh, be aware of? 
I have hypertension and uh, uh, I I take medication, but I can't really remember the name. It's okay. My doctor told so, me uh, that it's you... the antihypertensive. It's fine. So, do you have any drug allergy? Sorry. Do you have allergy to drugs? Uh, yeah, I also have. I also sometimes take some nasal sprays, but uh, that's when you know I feel. Uh, I'm have. I'm also asthmatic, so sometimes I do have to take nasal spray. Uh huh. I see. Uh, okay. Do you have any uh, previous surgeries conducted on you? Is there any uh, no, surgeries? No, no doctor. No doctor. None that I know. I can remember. Uh huh. Good. So, uh, is there any uh, history, a family history? Uh, any of your siblings have this kind of problem? Uh, no, doctor. So, uh, some personal questions. What's your occupation? I'm retired now. I used to be a teacher. Oh, that's good. So, uh, uh, who are staying with you at your home? I live with my daughter. Okay, so uh, do you smoke or uh, drink alcohol? Well, I used to smoke long ago, and I'm an occasional drinker. That's it. Okay, that's fine. So, what exactly do you think might be your problem? I don't know, doctor. Uh, it's just very embarrassing for me, you know, and it's becoming difficult. And also, I can't get a good night's sleep. So, if you could just help me out here. Yeah, yes, I totally understand. Uh, we will sort it out. So, um, what are the major concerns regarding this? Mm, especially because, you know, I can't uh, hold it in. And then I just, if you could just give me a solution for this, it would be amazing. Thank you for your time, uh, Mr. Thomas. I will get Thank back you, to Doctor. You. Can you present uh, your case? Uh, 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 Mr. Thomas, 75 year old gentleman who is in a non case of hypertension and uh, history of uh, allergy for which he is taking some sort of nasal spray presented with uh, history of, uh, difficulty in passing which includes increased frequency of frequency and uh, stream and the straining to urinate with the dribbling of urine with no history of uh, blood in urine or associated weight loss or uh, loss of appetite and with no history of previous uh, catheterization in his uh, of his blood so, what are and, your differential uh, diagnosis? On the history, uh, uh, my first diagnosis will be benign prostatic hypertrophy. I would also like to consider uh, carcinoma of prostate as well yes. as a uh, stricture of urethra. Yes, good. How, how do you plan to manage this patient? I would like to do a detailed uh, clinical examination of this patient, including yes. uh, peripheral, digital peripheral exa abdominal examination, peripheral examination, and investigations. Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, do an ultrasound uh, abdomen, a trans uh, rectal ultrasound, yes. as well as blood investigations, uh, bl uh, full blood count, uh, urea and blood uh, then uh, LF, uh, liver function test. Okay. And uh, further imaging like uh, MRI and CT scan. Yes, and the simple abdominal ultrasound and trans rectal ultrasound. Okay. How would you plan to uh, treat, or what treatment options can you offer? To this patient? After uh, confirming the diagnosis of uh, benign prostatic hypertrophy, and I would like to uh, do a medical management, I would like to give tamsulosin yes. uh, as well as uh, finasteride. And if it's uh, problematic, then I would like to go for surgical management, including trans urethral resection of prostate. Very good. Okay, good. Thank you. Just one component expectation was left, right, from your history taking rest yes, recovered. Very good. Yes, Dr. Zedlikin. Okay. Uh, uh, can you, Dr. Ulfad, give feedback to Dr. Lurky first? It was good, Dr. Lurky, and uh, the especially the good thing that I noticed, you were being sympathetic uh, towards the patient, and when Every time patient expressed uh, his yes. complaint, you said, I'm sorry to hear this. This is very important to show sympathy 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Which Thank was you. lacking in the hmm. members exactly. presented before you. So this is very important. Maybe they should listen to your history taking skills and they should learn from that. Yes, anything else you would want to add? Yes, and best sir. thing, you did it within time, ma'am. Within yes. time, he did yes. it. So and he, he covered, covered all everything, of the points within time. All the points. Especially eyes. Yes. Uh, one extra thing, since it's a male patient and a patient is having uh, complaints with the water system, so you could at least at the end uh, ask, uh, you could have asked uh, if you are having any problem with the erection. So that will rule out. Uh -huh. Yeah, that you could have, one question you could have added. Yeah, so I rest that. It was, yeah. I just wonder, so uh, uh, I just wanted to ask uh, this uh, about stricture. So, um, yes, you did. is a cause, uh, might be. Yes. But uh, how will we ask that? Because I started to ask uh, inserting a tube, and how do we mention the, can we say the private part? Or, uh, no, uh, openings. Penis or uh, no, no, no. Are... You will not use these. Uh, okay, private part you can say, or the openings. Have you ever been instrument? Uh, have you ever been introduced with any instrument in your openings or in your private parts like this? But uh, th those mm -hmm. are terms uh, for professionals. You can't use those terms with mm -hmm. patients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when you ask if patient ever had this problem before. And if patient says, yes, I had or no. So have you ever been instrumentized or have you ever been introduced with anything in your openings or in your private parts? So this could be an easy okay, word. Very good. Okay, yeah. ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.